What's up? My name is Ben Code. Welcome to How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, the guide to the isolated. God, it does sound sad, but it's meant to be funny. And hopefully it is funny. So basically, what the game is, is you are making a documentary. And you have to select three items to be in that documentary. Uh, that's all I know, basically. But let's click the start button. Let's go. You are Nigel Wimble, a hard hitting B. Come on, you are at. God, I'm confused. What? How to cope with boredom and loneliness? A guide for the isolated. Yes, got that one. You can have. You can have. You have to come and talk with hell. They 43 man. God damn it! Since his mother Margaret doesn't want you, but you have time to earn a better job. Okay, good. Carefully choose three items from. The God, you know I'm not even gonna try to read it. I give up. Every item tells a story. But not every story is relevant or good. Why does it go so fast? Confirm your selection by interacting with the door, then watch the documentary and follow the route of ad. God, your show will be really ra rated. Ah. Oh, let's see the fish tank. An aquarium pet fish like Harold, a prison environment where I can drag great. Wait, what? P potential sound. But I like the fish. Harold is. God oh, damn. father was never there, so I called him a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so fish tank. Then that rabbit. Can we just click on Harold? A curious man in a. Is this going wait. to take long? <laughs> Bed. A 14 year old sleeping in a race cupboard. Wow, this will make an interesting topic for discussion. Potential sound. You can imagine Harold's dream of driving away from here. Harold <laughs> loves cars and sleeping. It only makes sense to combine his passions. <laughs> he hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. Well, let's see, guitar. How long has Harold been going playing the guitar? What have you just heard? Pinch sound. My music can take you to places that only ears can see. The guitar. The guitar is Harold's. Ver God oh, damn it! I sing like a dog. Alan in agony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we well, choose the guitar if he actually sings. Yes, this is hard hitting stuff. All right, let's finish the interview. <laughs> so sad. Tonight at nine on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard hitting docu series, "How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness: A Guide for the Isolated." Is he talking to himself? Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over thirty three years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. I'm Nigel Wimble. Well, Harold always has been a naughty boy. He was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that is pissing on the cat. <laughs> what? In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, <laughs> and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. Oh, God. You can lose hours to the peace and tranquility of a well-maintained aquarium. <laughs> but like the fish, I would have swimming in a sea of isolation. Oh yes, god, I, I'm uh, sliding away. I sometimes look at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. So then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me, <sighs> so I set it free. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in the pocket. Harold and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, had been too healthy. Oh my god, his eyes are closed about to pop. But at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We, we've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Harold? What? Well... Kevin has needs, and <laughs> well, I have needs too. <laughs> no. I'm never sewing that hole back. <laughs> we saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not surprised to see it happening here too. Oh my god. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. 
<laughs> oh, this it presents it to remain quiet during the making of this movie. <laughs> what did I get right? Oh, Music still the guitar. Can take you to places only your ears can see. <laughs> the guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds, and he is the captain. If mother allows it, um, I would like to play you a new piece I've been working on entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. <laughs> Harold, give me a sec. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. Oh my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I'll sing this song. Oh, hot tar, not in my car, this time <laughs> I'm made for asphalt roads. Gotta put this down now. I always keep this thing in somewhere in the room, but I don't know why I never play it. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. <laughs> I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Good night. Join us next week <laughs> as we investigate cows and why so many stomachs. <laughs> 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. <laughs> this is a great new bad. F off! He murdered a fish and you put this man on television? Discussing why children could have walked in. We all know which part that is. <laughs> we, put, we pulled out the guitar. Ten, ten. Woo! The guitar was awesome! Alright, retry. How to make a documentary with Ben Card. I just want to hear the story of the B poster. But Special V came out in 98. <coughs> the last movie you saw. Some movies are an escape. I think I would check it out. I'm special. Like Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a good one. Truck. Uh -huh. Papers. This looks like some kind of film script. How it. Has he been right movie? This could be gold. Potentially how I withhold it full of deranged idiots that <laughs> Al hopes I like to write erotic dramas set in science fiction futuristic landscapes. <laughs> I bet you do, buddy. Subtitles, yep. Wait, if I turn off subtitles, does that mean it'll talk? Let me just go to TV. A modern TV, I'm surprised his mother allows him to watch TV. Pants out for this isolated watching tears and escape. What? We. He's allowed this on no later than 8 p.m. Damn it! Wait, what time is it now? Let's see his bed. For for you, this could make an interesting topic for this. Did I do this one already? So, you imagine Hell's dream of driving away from this. Yeah, beautiful. Harold loves cars and sleeping. Yeah, I did do this. It only makes sense to combine his passions. <laughs> he hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. Alright, alright, what about her? How long has she been punishing her? I don't like the way you're looking at me. Errol doesn't need a father. Oh! <laughs> alright, we're gonna put the bed in there. We're gonna put the papers. And we'll put the TV. Yeah, now what we got left is these four, so. I just want to try all of them. Tonight at 9 on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Well, Harold always has been a naughty boy. He was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that is pissing on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> he still has the plastic racing car bed he had as a child. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from this isolated reality. Well, I, I always had a passion for racing as a child, and I suppose that passion never <laughs> left me. Now it's nice. You do it, buddy. <laughs> hold of the bed, really. 
I mean, it doesn't happen very often nowadays, but I'll sometimes sit there and pretend I'm Jensen Button for, well, hours at a time, really. <laughs> I spy the screenplay Harold had been working on. <laughs> With Hollywood full of deranged idiots, maybe Harold hopes there's room for one more. <laughs> You decided to read me some lie. Whoop. She ran her slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. <laughs> I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you so much. <laughs> Run away to Planet Vargon with me, please. Oh my god. I love you too, Brad, but my father. Let me talk Brad! to you. Brad! Brad! understand. Now come here and kiss me. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly strokes her. That will do now, Harold. You're a bloody pervert. <laughs> <laughs> the isolated what are we using the telescope for? Is an escapism we all take for granted. Uh, my mother treated me to a modern television last year. She says if I'm good this year, she will give me the plug for an extra ten minutes. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? <laughs> Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. <laughs> I told you not to smuggle food in here for Kevin. <laughs> My time with Harold has come to an oh. end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But Red until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. <laughs> Good night. Good night, buddy. Join us next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. <laughs> 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. Love this show. Regular. I laugh so hard I shit milk. <laughs> That's screenplay. Alright, so. You should be happy Telvin's off so you don't have to watch this. Alright, so we'll do. The car, the screenplay, and the guitar, I'm pretty sure would make a perfect one, but for now, still want to try something. Have we heard the story of the telescope? No, we haven't heard anything. Harold's only view to the to the larger world is through this telescope. It breaks it. Damn it! Pants out with an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget what far from 94 Give up. rather slender. What? What do you have? Alright, and truck now. A old wooden toy truck. Maybe Harold's father was a lonely driver. <laughs> sorry, a poor, poorly carved truck serves a reminder for an absent father where sometimes life on the effort. Well, I'll never play for that. After everything your father did for you. <clears throat> no, it's a clock. A novelty crab clock, crab clock sometimes come back like this. What the hell? It looks like a crab, like, choked or something. Turns out, for Harold, one clock is everything in the way of time. Damn it! Oh, Harold loves that clock. We used to use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. <laughs> for every five minutes he was good, I wouldn't smack him around the head. Damn! Um. And then we've heard the B one, so we'll do. Alright, so, being crab and, um, truck, we'll do the toy things, kind of. Alright, then that. This will make a great interview. And then we go try the telescope and see how that goes with something. Maybe do the telescope, be poster, and rabbit, or something, I don't know. Um, how do we do it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got an exit into. <laughs> yeah, I'll get over this picture. A poorly carved toy truck. Serves as a reminder of an absent father. But sometimes life on the road equals Mummy, when's daddy coming home? <laughs> Harold's father has been absent for most of his life, mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. Wait, what? He was involved in a massive yeah. collision that resulted in 52 deaths. What? Father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. The police said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided with the school bus. So wait, he was the driving room, and doing it. The watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, time has been his only companion. I never did like crab clock. 
He's always been there, mocking me with his incessant ticking. Mother always said, oh, when the big head reaches 1996, I'm allowed to come out of my room. It's 2016 now, but she thinks I'm still a threat to Harmony. <laughs> I notice a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. A terrible movie. No, a horror movie. I lost in a good movie. But I think Boris the Special Big was the last time I did get lost in a movie. Well, the last I movie you've seen. It like yesterday. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. Boris used to say, Oh, behave. Get it? Behave. <laughs> it was awfully funny when Mother used to tell me to behave, and I'd retort, Oh, behave, Mother. <sighs> yes, you did, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> I put you over her knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? <laughs> My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Good night, buddy. Join us next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. Don't know. 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BBTV. No, I don't know the answer. Bad prick. Not sure show I'm in love. What gave him eight? Oh, wait, TV. Oh, the movie. Yeah, yeah, another depression show on TV. I love him. The filmmaker asked the about eight o'clock while I'm looking at mine. I wish that mother would be hey. Touch it. <laughs> Good one. All right, we're gonna do one more, and then no, two more. We're gonna. I want to try a telescope, and then do. A, the one that I reckon will make it great. So use TV. And I'm not using the rabbit. God no. And I'll use the fish tanking. I just want to see what the telescope's going to be. And I'll probably skip the rest. You can sometimes forget where your feet are. That was but the sound by the way. never forgets where his feet are. But still has sights on the stars. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. I mean, sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people at the bus stop are advancing <laughs> Germans. I wouldn't stand a chance if it was a real sniper rifle, let me tell you. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would go straight through the bus shelter. Damn! Bloodbath. Bloodbath. Woo! Good! Bam! Almost 10 out of 10 with the car. Damn, maybe the screenplay... No, screenplay is 7 out of 10. Made in 72 hours for... Where? Oh. Nice. Um. Very... Yeah, I used my telescope and I laughed so hard I shit milk. <laughs> we did it! Woo! We got a... We got a pretty good score. Almost 10 out... Almost 3 10 out of 10s. But that's the best we could do. Right. Anyway. God, you guys should check out this game. I'll leave the link to it in the description. But, man, is it a good game. And, oh, anyway, hope you guys check it out. You gotta download it. It's not like a Flash game where you actually have to download it. You can donate, but, and so that. So, you guys should check it out, but you can just get it for free if you really want to it. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe.